If you're a video creator, you know just how hard it is, traditionally speaking, to talk to YouTube. Well, I've got some good news for you. It has just become a lot easier to talk to YouTube directly for a lot more people, but not everyone. VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com. Hello everyone, I'm Rob and welcome back to vidIQ, the YouTube tool and channel that aims to educate you on your YouTube journey. For all of the latest YouTube tips, tricks, advice and news, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of our content. I love doing that. School is in session. Before we get into this, a quick shout out to Sticky Situations, the channel who brought this news to my attention. And we're gonna come back to that channel and they've been able to use this direct contact with YouTube to fix some situations on their channel, which as you can see on first impressions, looks a little peculiar. But before all that, you've waited long enough to talk to YouTube, let's not make you wait any longer. Support.google.com is your web address of destination. In the top right hand corner of the screen, just under the Google profile you should be logged in as on your YouTube channel, click on Get Support. Next up you want to click on Get Creator Support where you will see the usual array of common channel questions. Now if you click on one of these, say Monetization and AdSense, you will see Live Chat. Now, let's just give this a little bit of context. Live chat is not new for YouTube. It's been around for a long time. However, the conditions for having access to live chat before were very, very strict. Previously, to request a live chat session with YouTube, your channel would need at least 25,000 subscribers and over 100,000 hours of watch time in the last 12 months. That basically meant you had to be 25 times the size of a channel that had just monetized on YouTube. Clearly, this used to be a benefit for the privileged few. However, that same support page will now tell you that you can chat with the YouTube creator support team for help if your channel is in the YouTube partner program. So if you've got this, it means you can talk to them. Oh wait, no, that's my subscribe pillow. You can talk to them. What's more, YouTube doesn't just support English, they support all of these languages too. Multi-language support is very important, of course. It's why we support all of these languages with our tools that will help you research YouTube, analyze any video on the platform, audit your own channel, and take actionable steps that will help grow your YouTube channel. vidIQ is free to download. There is a link in the video description. Anyway, if you remember at the start of this video, we were about to click on this request live chat button. When you do this, you'll be presented with a quick form that you need to fill out. And soon after that, you'll be live chatting with someone at YouTube creator support. And just to clarify, live YouTube chat and email support are only available to those creators in the YouTube partner program. If you're not yet there, you may only see these options which point you to appropriate YouTube support pages. Up until now, YouTube live chat was only available to a fraction of a percent of video creators. But now we're into the hundreds of thousands, if not millions of video creators in the YouTube partner program. I know that's not gonna satisfy everybody who is yet to get into the partner program, but at least it's a step in the right direction. Now, what benefits can you get from direct YouTube support? Well, let's take a look at sticky situations Sticky predicament? On first impressions, you'd be forgiven for thinking this is a how to kidnap tutorial channel. And it's probably one of the reasons this channel has brushed up against YouTube's community guidelines. But on closer inspection, this channel reacts to and commentates on kidnap scenes in television shows and movies. The creator calls this damsel in distress or DID. I call this just another corner of YouTube with safe and appropriate content. With 20,000 subscribers and millions of views over three years, they have established themselves as a channel. What the video creator tells me is that sometimes their videos get hit with age restriction warning, and that can have a huge impact on search and discovery of your content, meaning you get a lot less views for the same amount of effort you've put into all of your videos. They have appealed these warnings through the automated process, not being successful, but have then been able to utilize YouTube live chat to have somebody have a second look at those videos 
and get them overturned so that they are once again freely available to all audiences. Not only that, because the video creator is able to utilize live chat instead of email, it speeds up the process, he says, literally by months. Now we're not saying this is guaranteed to get the right outcome for your channel and your video content, but at least being able to speak to a human being who may be able to escalate this to a team to investigate further is better than nothing. We ourselves have had videos hit with community guideline strikes because of misleading metadata and we went through the automated appeals process, failed, but when we talked to a human through live support, we were eventually able to overturn it. And phew, was that a relief. More on that story sometime in the future. We'd love to hear of your experiences of YouTube live chat, if you've had a chance to use it, both good and bad. Let us know in the comments below. And as I've already said, if you don't yet have access to the YouTube support, don't worry, you still have the avenue of Team YouTube on Twitter. It's not perfect, but they do respond quite frequently in many different languages. And if you kick up a stink in public, there is more chance that YouTube may resolve it for you and many other video creators. Enjoy the rest of your video making day.